Hey guys, in this video I'm going to try to talk about the color options of the theme. So, if you go into the backend color option, uh, Kalias option, sorry, and then go to color options, you will see a lot of uh, color picks, uh, pickers and uh, let me explain you uh, each one uh, what it does. So, we have the main color uh, picker, which is uh, the red used in the oh sorry about that forgot an option enable one second there it is so if you see there are a lot of uh, red uh, colors uh, in the website most of them are uh, custom defined but many are uh, uh, defined in a single option which is uh, the main color so let's I don't know let's choose uh, blue and let's see what happens now as you can see some for example this button has uh, remained the same but that's because it's a custom defined color I mean if you uh, if you want to change it you have to go into the uh, header options general options header options and there you have a special color picker for that exact button so then you have these uh, you see this text this border this border too and other uh, buttons as well you can go to say this home page and see the elements for example the the menu basically almost everything that's custom defined uh, will change to blue what is not changed to blue for example this uh, info card uh, panel again you have to go to the header settings and change the color there also there are other um, elements which also use um, red for example this section this section right here is um, is actually custom defined in the section settings it's a gradient as you can see is from starts from uh, red uh, to a uh, lighter red and you can uh, change it uh, there also again this title right here it's custom defined in the element in this specific element so that's about it with the with the main color where you see uh, I don't know this red just simply uh, find uh, its own uh, option and uh, if you, you should be able to edit it so then you have the top navigation default color, top navigation hover color, and this uh, this uh, this option right here should uh, change. I just set it to orange to highlight. As you can see, the top uh, top settings have. Uh, have changed uh, sorry top color has changed in the navigation you could um, you could also add uh, an entire menu here uh, this is another story I will talk into another uh, video about this but this is what this uh, option in particular is uh, doing now you can also change the uh, sites uh, content uh, background color for example is I don't know let's just choose green I'm choosing these strange colors to uh, make uh, uh, an obvious uh... now in this in this uh, example uh, right here as you can see this part hasn't changed but this one did now why this happened because uh, these are all sections this is a section 
this is another section let me just uh, edit with the uh, page builder and you will uh, understand uh, much better so now I have these uh, sections as you can see section here section here and here now if I click the settings you will see that this one has a background if I just delete it I think I have to refresh as you can see the background has changed so basically this is uh, um, this green background is there it's attached on the uh, I think the body oh, sorry no it's the no it's the page uh, wrapper as you can see the this background is attached on the page wrapper uh, block which is which contains everything in the site so also again this section too you have to just simply remove it and it will rely on that uh, on that uh, on this uh, background color so this is the the background uh, option you also you can also have a, a background uh, image for the for this page wrapper you can also like I said uh, in uh, mm, sorry I said in the, in, into another uh, video you can choose a pattern if you had a pattern make sure you select uh, repeat as a background repeat if you want uh, I don't know a wallpaper for example just uh, uh, choose the image set uh, background to no repeat set the background position and uh, the attachment uh, settings and if you choose fixed the background will stay fixed in the in the website and the content will just uh, scroll so then uh, uh, afterwards um, you can choose uh, actually this gray area uh, background color uh, options uh, we previously in the older versions of uh, Kalias we had this um, this uh, gray area um, separate section and you could have uh, choose a background color and a background image now as you can see we've de deprecated this uh, these two options because you can now add as many sections as you want and each of them have their uh, own uh, background color and uh, its own settings so this these options are just uh, I don't know inherited to to maintain uh, a backward uh, comp compatibility with uh, the older versions but uh, these two options will be removed so uh, it's better to uh, use a different uh, to completely unrely on these two so I won't talk about them anymore as there's actually no point in that so then we have the uh, header background color on mobiles uh, what this means for example <laughs> sorry this is these colors are so strange uh, let me just uh, hit this one and if I just resize this page uh, let me also open the console I will open it because I want to sh give you a s quick tip if you have this uh, uh, develop developer tools console opened you can when you resize the page you can see the 
width and height of this uh, window. Also some rule rulers appear there if you hover the... that's right. So now as you can see the uh, window width will uh, decrease and up to 480 something will change. As you can see the he header has changed. It's uh, forced to be um, to have a full background. It's forced to um, this uh, slider is forced not to uh, start from uh, the exact top. It now starts from uh, from here. Let me just do it again. And that's because, of course, uh, there is a very, very, very small uh, amount of uh, pixels here. So we had to find a workaround to uh, make sure all these options uh, fit well in this uh, header. So now you can. Um, oh, sorry, I hit the the logo. Uh, you can change the background and the colors of the the exact uh, header when on a mobile uh, scenario. So you can change the background by default it's this color. You can, I don't know, change it to whatever. You can change the text and the hover color. So, I don't know, let's just choose this and this and I don't know, this red. <laughs> It's very strange, I know, but this will make you understand better. So as you can see, nothing has changed now. Only when resized, you can see it's a blue, custom blue, a, a green, and a red when uh, hovered. So that's about it with the colors. Actually, just I want to specify something and that it's uh, we are actually in the process of uh, rebuilding this uh, this uh, option page because we want uh, better color management and we will uh, I will remake this video but for the moment uh, this is the presentations for uh, these colors but like I said we're in the process of uh, redoing all these uh, options and to make it more um, customizable and um, I don't know if you have suggestions um, feel free to to share and also if you have problems again please do ask on our uh, support forums and um, hope you hope you won't find any problems and uh, everything will go smooth so thanks for watching uh, see you in the next one thanks bye